Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hidatullah with another new video. Actually, we have started Microsoft Excel tutorial series, and in our third, I mean, in our previous three lecture or uh, lesson, I have discussed about the basic uh, topics of Microsoft Excel. I mean, before starting a Excel work, a person should know about some basic work. So I have discussed about that. So if you're new here, you can watch that. Uh, I think that will improve your quality now from the tutorial series I will just discuss about 25 Excel trips and tricks that is very very important for a person who want to learn uh, Excel before uh, starting Excel formula so after completing that uh, 25 Excel trips and tricks I will just go for uh, Excel formula and there I'll discuss about different types almost 100 plus excel formula i will introduce with you and i will uh, show that how will work with that formula and that will uh, make your work very easy so before starting if you are a civil engineer or if you new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so let's uh, start first of all i'll open our uh, excel file this is our excel file so first of all i will show you about quick analysis okay how we'll use quick analysis option okay suppose oh uh, suppose this is a text a v c d and they have some data suppose any data that's not problem okay like that so just when you will select that data okay when you will select that data you will see here a option will come here okay so this is known as quick analysis okay this is known as quick analysis so when you will click on it just see here they have many options formatting chart totals table okay suppose if you click here it will show you as table just simple like that it will show you as table okay so again i will uh, control z i'll go back so from here if you come here this is the data bar okay so if you click here it will uh, show you like that the control z then again click here and then color okay so just uh, this is the color then icon set then uh, this is the greater than or top a uh, percent value color greater okay there have some option suppose uh, how to how that work suppose if you give here the formal cell a uh, greater than uh, 10 then it will show you the different color why which color you will select it will show you but if you uh, select that that value are uh, greater than 13 then this not working so like that way we can use our quick analysis option so from here chart you can also use chart like that okay so you can use uh, chart any kind of chart according to requirement after the totals you can uh, sum that just simple click here see that here your sum then average then uh, count number four data here then total this is the hundred percent just uh, actually many things are available here after the table you can use table then uh, here you can also use a column okay so like that you can use that so in this way you can use the quick analysis tool okay quick analysis tool after that we'll go for filter so first of all i'll select that and i'll make here i'll just uh, select that and from here i will create a table okay i'll consider that this is a table i'll consider that this is a table now uh, again control z come here and uh, take your mouse suppose here take your mouse here and go here data okay F uh, data and click here filter just simply click here filter now see that they have uh, two option okay and drop down uh, like a drop down list 
they have two options now you can filter your data suppose uh, why we use filter our data suppose we have huge amount of data okay we have huge amount of data but we need some a specific data then we have to find that uh, by a scrolling or like that but from here we can easily find out that so from here which data we want to show here suppose we want to uh, show only data from B so if you click here just see here the data are available from B only so again I will uh, if you again click here then uh, suppose now uh, I want to see about uh, C and D okay not V sorry C and D not V then press ok now your data for C and D are available okay so click here select a wall press ok similarly for uh, that site this is also the select all or uh, data for 12 okay then so in this way just uh, you can use your data as uh, they have uh, same types of data that's why a filter are not working so if you give here uh, 13 okay now go here just see here if you want to see only um, value for 13 just come here then here a uh, value are available for only for 13 just see here this is the uh, good way to use your filter now I will just use also 12 so uh, now uh, I'll go back by pressing ctrl Z so now I'll show you about drop down list okay suppose uh, you have huge amount of data okay you, you have uh, like that a b c d then if we click here c d a b c d sorry from here a b so like that you just uh, click here suppose um, we have uh, data like that okay otherwise so there is the data a v we can uh, change that v c d e f g h i j k suppose this is our data now but uh, this is not only the few data when you have huge amount of data in a row then suppose uh, you need to find out a data instantly or quickly then how will use that okay just uh, suppose here here you need to uh, take your uh, that data as a list and uh, you will be able to select that data very instantly so for that uh, simply take your mouse here okay take your mouse here where you want to make your drop down list so now uh, just take your mouse here go here data after that from here uh, go data validation go data validation click here and uh, from here just click here data validation or simply click here so click data validation okay so from here there have many option any value whole number decimal list so i'll select list okay i'll select list and source what is the source so by clicking here source just will select from that point to that point okay from that point to that point after that we'll press here okay we'll press okay just see here this is our drop down point if i make a here this is a drop down point now here you are seeing that this is a arrow sign okay this is arrow sign simply click on it now see here this is your data this is your data simply uh, move it okay simply move it and here press a just see that here is your data you can also change that for f for i like that okay so you can use drop down list for your many purpose of work after that i will show you autofill columns with and autofill row suppose uh, they have a data okay they have they have a data like that okay now uh, this is the data now how will and they have also another data now how will just uh, you need 
uh, a, a small space but uh, it's taking huge amount of space i mean it's with are uh, taking very long space also if i uh, increase that like that way so how will just adjust that okay how will use auto fill columns and width so for that just uh, simply come here and double click just see here it's taking the required value again simply come here double click again here like that simply come here and double click just see here it's taking your data suppose it's uh, this column are with are very far just simply double click here it will adjust its width now here you are seeing that uh, the row width or height are very I mean uh, they're very much then just simply double click here just see it so in this way you can use auto fill okay uh, column or row after that I will show you about something then transports suppose uh, this is your data okay this is a two data of two columns here is a data for two columns now you need to transport that uh, data I mean you need to uh, you change that data row and column row to column column to row okay now how will uh, do that just uh, simply select your data like that otherwise uh, just like that select your data then uh, right click then uh, copy left click after that where you want to where you want to transpose that or uh, change that row to column or column to row just come here uh, select here then right click and go here okay go here a special okay paste a special so from here uh, just you have to come from a special just uh, see here transpose okay from a special just see here transpose just simply click on it now see that your data is if I make it like that way just see that your data have changed this is the its column have converted to row so like that way you can uh, use your transpose okay also just uh, simply copy that copy uh, control C then just simply come here and from here this uh, option also available here otherwise you have to go a special paste then from here you have to find out this is the transpose okay this is transpose option just simply transpose here so like that way you can change the column to row row to column so i think that is helpful for you and if you also think that that is really helpful for you please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update every first so in our next video i will also discuss with you most five important uh, excel features that will uh, change your life and that will change your work ability okay so uh, if you think that that is helpful for you then like our video also share our video and don't forget to leave a comment cause your comment uh, with your best opinion is very very important for us to improve ourselves so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video